I'm getting real with y'all on this video. This isn't something I've talked about in a video. It's something I've written about in some of my posts, but about two and a half years ago, I was in a really dark, really dark place and I had a gun in my safe, in my closet. I went in there, I, I got the gun and I really was wanting to end things. All right, I was super low. This was around the time of the quarantine. Um, I was alone with my thoughts. I was kind of thinking about um, just the way I live my life. And I was just, I felt like I was worthless. I felt like there was no way out of the way I was feeling. I felt like I wasn't where I wanted to be in life. And I was really thinking about um, just ending things. And that's where I was at. Um, shout out to my roommate at the time came into my room, um, realized what was going on, uh, basically had to fight me <laughs> and push me out of the way to, to take that gun. Um, but I'm in a much better place now. And I'm making this video because I know, I'm sure there's people out there that are you know, in a similar mindset to where I was in. And I wanna help you out and tell you how I've completely transformed my thoughts in the way I think. And where I'm at now, I am super mentally healthy. I feel like I'm mentally strong. I never have those thoughts anymore. It's taken a long process. I've done a lot of therapy. So I wanna talk about how I think now and how you can transform your thoughts to never think that way and to have basically reprogram your thoughts for success. And where I'm at now, I have a successful fitness business that I run. I'm getting in the best shape of my life. And I feel like the thoughts that I have now are just 100% completely 180 from where I was back then. So I, I wanna help whoever's watching this to think in a certain way so that you never have those dark thoughts and reprogram yourself to be in a completely different spot in the next year. All right, what you need to do first is cultivate a mindset of positivity. All right, and what this takes is doing a complete audit of your life and your mindset and your thoughts. So what you need to do is start journaling, start paying attention to your thoughts, what's running through your mind. You need to do a complete audit on this, okay? So once you do that, what you wanna do is only cultivate positivity into your life. All right, what this takes is um, getting rid of sometimes negative people, get rid of all the negative content that you're consuming, and this includes you know social media, you know any sort of like gossipy social media, like trash TV, you know gossipy, you know just drama filled trash TV that you might be consuming, really negative things on the news. You see a lot of negative stuff on the news. You know, if you're in a dark spot, you know, you need to avoid those things. All right, and some people have told me this, this is like avoiding reality, but if you're in a dark place, you don't need this stuff. This stuff is not gonna help you. All right, so what you need to do is get rid of that. You know, don't listen to people saying you're avoiding reality. What this is doing is creating your own reality. All right, create your own reality of positivity and think proactive instead of reactive to all this, these negative things that are going on. You know, you might see stuff that's going on that's negative in, in the media, avoid it. Only cultivate positivity into your life. All right, step number two is realizing that there are gonna be hard things, there's gonna be negative things, there's going to be, you know, tough circumstances that you're gonna face. All right, you need to realize that, okay? So step number two, after you've cultivated as much positivity into your life and you're just consuming positive, positive things, realize that no matter what you do, there still is gonna be negative things that enter into your life. And you know you just need to be aware of that and be ready for that. All right, that's step number two. And how you're gonna combat that is step number three. Step number three to combat any sort of negativity or tough circumstances that you're gonna face is to prepare for it. All right, and the way you do this is putting yourself through small adversities every single day. All right, if you, if you work out, if you challenge your body, if you do hard things, 
that are work related, if you do the tasks that you know are that are gonna move you forward, doing these things, doing these tough things, facing them head on like a fucking warrior and doing these things every single day, that's gonna prepare you for the tough things that are gonna come up. All right, so put yourself through small adversities every single day and do the hard things that you know are gonna move you forward. If you just do those things every single day and you don't avoid them and you run through the storm like a bull instead of running away from the storm like, like cows do. So cows run away from storms and they end up getting stuck in it longer. What bulls do is they run through the storm and they get through it fast. So that's what you are, you're a bull. All right, so you wanna run right through it, face things head on every single day, get through the hard things as fast as you can, and this is gonna prepare you for any tough circumstances that come up. All right, and you're gonna train yourself to when hard things come up, you face it head on right away and you get through it as fast as possible. All right, that's step number three to combat any sort of adversities that are gonna come up in life. And that's really it. All right, this is how you're gonna change your mindset, get out of any slump, and reach whatever goals you have in the next year. Okay, so to recap, step number one, cultivate positivity in your life. Get rid of negativity and cultivate as much positivity into your life as you possibly can by avoiding what you're consuming that's negative in the media, in the news, you know, trash TV, stuff on social media. Avoid that stuff, you don't need it. Cultivate as much positivity in your life. Cultivate positive influences into your life get rid of the negative influences in your life. All right, that's step number one. Step number two is realizing that there still are gonna be inevitable negative circumstances that happen. All right, that's inevitable, it's part of life. You have to be prepared for it, and that's step number three. All right, step number three is being 100% prepared for whatever life's gonna throw at you, and the way you do that is face the small, tough adversities every single day, face them head on, Get, get through them as fast as you possibly can, face those head on every day, and even create adversity every day with, with hard workouts, pushing your body, push your mind to the limit, all right? Face things head on. If you do these things, if you don't avoid the tough things that are gonna move you forward, then you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna be able to handle anything that life throws at you, and you're just gonna see yourself level up in the next year, okay? So take these three steps, do these things. These are the things that allowed me to get in the best shape of my life, reach fitness goals, reach life goals, program my mind for success, um, and be doing what I absolutely love for a living and, and doing it at a successful rate. And I don't say that to brag, uh, and I'm definitely 100% not where I wanna be. You know, I've still got way more that I wanna accomplish with my business and my fitness goals, but I know that I'm on the right path and I know that I'm doing the hard things that are moving me forward every single day. So that's my challenge for you. Try these three steps, ingrain these, write these down, start journaling for yourself, start realizing the negative things in your life, get rid of them, and reprogram your mind for success and see where you're at in a year, okay? That's all I got for you. Reach your goals, change your life. Cheers.